Today I fucked up by leaving a used tissue on my GF's friend's jumper. Inspired by a story I read here this morning, about the guy being caught with his partner's friend's underwear, brought back a memory of one of the most cringy moments of my life. My GF had her friend stay over for the night. In the morning, they went out for breakfast, naturally, as with any opportunity for being in bed and having the house to myself, I rubbed one out. Then, chucked the used tissue from my bed, into the bin and went back to sleep. A pretty dreamy morning really. IGF comes back with her friend, and I get woken up by her coming into the room to grab her friend's jumper which was on the floor, next to the bin. As she leaves the room, I have a moment of panic and as I go over the bin my fears are confirmed, the tissue didn't go in the bin as I'd thought. I run out, half naked, and say I think I. And then my GF, in front of her friend, peels off a cum soaked tissue that's basically caked onto the jumper. It's all immediately obvious to everyone what the sticky substance is. I was lost for words and went back to bed horrified. All my GF could do was apologize. Too long didn't read, accidentally threw a cum soaked tissue onto my GF's friend's jumper. Out of curiosity, said Bin was in your room, why was her jumper in your room on the floor? Up replying to all comments except the ones asking these types of questions. What do you do if you come across your girlfriend's friend? Apologize and wipe it off. This defo deserves the wearing is caring award. Was the jumper burned afterwards? Or just rinsed in the sink? I need to know how much horror was on this friend's face. The horror was on the tissue, not the friend's face. Pay attention. The real question I have is why are all of these people's friends leaving their clothes in the couple's bedroom? Right? Never in my life has anybody ever left their clothes in my bedroom. Maybe that's a bit of a cell phone. But like, why? Why would you put your laundry in someone else's room, especially a couple's? I think everyone is missing the obvious here. What was the friend's jumper doing on Op and his GF bedroom floor? Why did the threesome part of the story get skipped? This. Don't think I had any friend ever leave a jumper, let alone on my bedroom floor, that's just a weird ass place to leave it. Rude if it was left there by the friend and disrespectful if left by the GF after borrowing it. Today I fucked up by sniffing what I thought was my wife's underwear. So my kink is jacking off with my wife's used undies on my face so be bothered by this story whatever. Well I grabbed a pair of some undies that were left on the floor of the floor in the bathroom under a towel and I picked them up and said ah shit why not I have a quick second. Quickly pee run over to my bed and start to go to town. I put them over my face and into my mouth about 2 minutes in my door kicks open it was my 3 year old son with my wife right behind him I quickly try to shield myself with a Tempur-Pedic pillow sitting next to me so he doesn't see and my wife says damn again dude we have to go hurry up but not before double taking at the panties I threw to right of me and quickly realizes those aren't her panties but her friends who is currently staying with us. She says what the hell is wrong with me and I explain to her I would obviously not grab your friend's panties willing knowing that info. So she tells me to finish up so we can go or else we'll be late so I said really WTF so I re-grabbed the purple undies and she starts yelling saying not with those you fucking idiot she meant for me to just finish my deed. Utterly embarrassing moments that happened a few hours ago, mainly because my 3 year old sorta of seen me. Too long didn't read, was caught jacking off with my wife's friend's undies in my mouth that I thought were my wife's. Yeah you definitely don't have a wife. Edit, he deleted all his thirsty posts slash comments on NSFW subs lol. WTF did I just read? Are some pretty bad fiction. I would obviously not grab your friend's panties willingly knowing that info grabs them a second time. He was thinking with his head, not his head. But why are her friends dirty underwear in your bathroom? I've stayed at people's houses and I never leave my underwear in their bathroom, this smells sus. I think you nailed it with the smells sus part. Did Op not even notice the scent difference? Question mark. Just wait until your kid brings one of daddy's masks to school for show and tell in a few years. No one cared who I was, until I put on the panties. 
Today I fucked up by leaving a medieval chocolate bar my mother ate. Edit, can't change the title, ITD be something like this. Today I fucked up by leaving a weed edible chocolate bar my mother ate. So, hi everyone, I literally found out about this yesterday and it happened to my mother about 2 years ago. I hope this counts for this subreddit. Around two years ago, due to severe depression and physical problems I started having some weed edibles on very rare occasion, when the pain gets severe or the mind, or both. My mother came to visit my husband and I, gay dudes here, and while she was a bit awkward it was all fine. We had to work during her stay so she stayed at the apartment all by herself. I never thought anything weird was up as she never mentioned anything. It is worth noting that the weed edibles in question were in our bedroom inside a party bag in which I was given the item. It was not left in the kitchen nor laying around. Kate yesterday, my mother and I somehow ended up talking about CA and it being a state for both legal and recreational use. And I only mentioned that weed gummy edibles were my favorite of the bunch as to me they feel better and easier to deal with. She starts talking about a certain day, she went into our room to do some tidying up, and she found a chocolate bar. According to her she did not think much of it as, well, what sort of damage can a chocolate do? Unless you are allergic, which she isn't. She tells me she broke a bit of it and ate it, she did not think anything of it and then, and then, and then the effect hit, she thought she was very well having a health emergency episode but she did not contact me or an ambulance, she felt the full force of the edible, the relaxing, the hyperactivity, but she made a mistake, she did not relax, I mean, how could she? She had never in her life been anywhere close to weed, let alone try it, so, there she was freaking out, she drank water, took comfort in the couch and fell asleep, no one but her all the wiser about anything that happened. Now, by this point I swear I wanted the earth to eat me whole cause, yeah, my mother found my weed edible and, well, she never knew I did them for any sort of issue. She tells my father during a phone call, in which he proceeds to laugh so hard the phone fell from his hands. Once the shock wore off from me, I proceeded to also laugh to my heart's content and told her, what was that you taught me as a child? Never touch anything in another person's living space if you do not know what it is, and even if you do, never have it without asking. Well, curiosity killed the cat, so, you got your own, funny punishment, to which she agreed. All good, all laughs but I wanted to die when she told me. Too long didn't read, mom found my edibles, ate one, never told me, and karma hit her to which she laughs now about it. Edit 2, added what the edibles meant in the post. Thanks everyone, some of y'all's stories have been just as entertaining. As for my mother and her actions, I promise she had no ill intent, she was helping us with the cleaning and upkeep. She ate it cause chocolate and sugar gives that small boost of energy. I think she learned her lesson hard lol. Edit 3, OMG you guys are all awesome, the stories I have read down in the replies are flat out funny as hell. I will say again, mother and I are cool, she didn't snoop, was just a party bag in the nightstand. We have in the past shared candies and so she had no reason to suspect otherwise. we we'll laugh at her for ages to come, so will my father for that matter lol. Thank you all for the likes, the awards, the funny stories. Tidying up his mom language for snooping around and going through your shit btw. I used to work in a medical dispensary and get samples all the time from vendors. My husband gave his mom a chocolate bar for a lot of pain she was having. Well she forgot it was an edible days later it was in her purse and she was waiting for her daughter in the car shopping and got hungry. She ate the whole damn thing and was high as a kite poor lady. Normally if she had ate any at all because it's not her thing, it would have been at home on her way to bed. I have so many edible stories on map. My mom did this last year. I had let her know about the chocolate and where it was. Apparently she wasn't listening during that conversation because while I was overseas working I woke up to a series of frantic texts saying she had eaten some chocolate tabs felt really weird and wanted to know what was in it. Because of time differences I didn't know about this until many hours later and by that time a friend had gone by to check on her, she was supposed to be at a dinner party that evening, and babysat her through the night. She was was fine but still doesn't appreciate when I break down in laughter just remembering it. My mom got into my drugs while I was out of town! Exclamation mark.
I used to work on a rural road construction crew with some super irresponsible dudes, one of whom would always bring a bunch of weed cookies to eat while he graded old farm roads. We'll call him Tom. Another guy we worked with, Ed, would always snag one of the cookies and say the exact same annoying thing, they don't do anything for me, I just like the taste. So one day Tom decided he'd had enough of this, and made a batch of triple strength cookies. When Ed ate one and said his thing, Tom said, okay well, why don't you have another, then? Poor Ed. When it hit he went into the bathroom, lay down on the floor and stayed there all day. Every once in a while one of the guys would bang loudly on the door and demand to know what he was doing. He would splutter something about cleaning. I took one of those cookies home and ate one damn bite, and I got so stoned I thought I was going to die. Full body trembling, nibbling on a single cracker for half an hour and having to hold it with two hands while laughing and crying simultaneously. It was a rough time. My first time trying an edible ever. My roommate got a medical grade cookie from a friend and told me he left it in the fridge for me. He didn't mention that it was 50 milligrams. So I, being a normal human, ate the entire cookie. Because that's what you do with cookies right? Wrong, so very wrong. I was in a different dimension for like 4 hours. Never made that mistake again lol. My brother had some peanut butter cookie edibles frozen in my parents freezer. The bag had do not heat and a skull crossbones image drawn on it so my parents and I knew. Unfortunately, my sister came over and peanut butter cookies are her favorite. She just assumed that the warning was due to someone trying to hug them all, something we often did to deter someone from eating our leftovers. She had a couple, got way too high, and needed to call in sick to work that evening. She was mad after the anxiety attack faded, but also, she sort of deserved it for ignoring the warning.